students i am abhijit adhikari and today we will discuss about the importance of understanding history you can see here what is the importance of understanding history so what is history this is the question that first strikes our mind so history is the study of the past okay and what is past past is a time before now so anything that has happened earlier is called past so history is the study of the earlier time you can say understood we can also say history is a record of the events that has happened in our past now you can see a historian who is historian uh, what does he do he studies the past and explains to us what happened in earlier times why it happened and how it affected the lives of the people so a historian helps us to understand the history okay so now student a question can come in your mind is that why do we need to study history what is the importance of studying history it is very important students as we know that our present is the consequence of the past so like we can say that if you do not study in your present day in future what will happen you will not be able to score a good marks right that means your future is the consequence of the today or your future is the consequence of present similarly your present is the consequence of your past understood that is why we must study history to understand the present day so see here if we want to know why we live the way we live today we need to understand how we came to live this way and here history helps us history tells us about the lives of people in earlier times and from that we we came to know that that like early humans hunted wild animals for meat and gathered fruits from the trees that means the early humans did not know how to grow crops but later on they learned how to grow crops okay so it does not only tell about the lifestyle only but it also tells how the ways of life have changed with time for example we can see here see when there was no internet and even the postal service then pigeons were used for communication and thus we learn about how technology has changed over time and made our lives easier okay good so it also tells us about the kings and rulers of the past so if we know about the kings and rulers of the past so we will be able to understand the influence of those kings in our life understood so from the history we of from the study of history we come to know about the lives and the work of great personalities too great warriors and rulers like you can see akbar and napoleon <coughs> sorry hmm. akbar and napoleon then some were great thinkers and teachers like buddha and mahavira some great leaders and politicians like mahatma gandhi and nelson mandela so many more so it helps us to understand why some dates are important to us or the stories behind the famous monuments that enrich our cultural heritage so if i ask you why do we celebrate 15 august if you have read history you can answer why it is important okay and why do we celebrate independence day on 15 august only why not 14 august right so students we understood why it is important to understand the past right so now we will see how can we understand the past or history in a better way because 
Students, history tells us about many events that happened in the past. So some of these events took place hundreds of years ago and some others happened only a few decades ago, right? Therefore, it is very much difficult for understand of un it is very much difficult to understand those events if we do not remember the sequence of the events, right? So therefore, the historians have divided the past into different periods so that it becomes easy for us to remember the sequence. And so this process is called periodization. Okay. So through periodization, what have they done? They have divided the past into prehistory and history. So now what is prehistory? Prehistory is the time when humans did not know how to write. Okay. So when humans did not know how to write, that means prehistory has no written document. Keep this in mind. And another one is history. So what is history? So history, see here, history is the time in the past since the invention of writing. So invention of writing has been used as the marker here. It marks or it differentiates between prehistory and history. Now students, history is again divided into three periods. What are those? Those are ancient, medieval and modern. Okay, ancient, medieval and modern. What is ancient history then? Ancient history tells us about the very old time. Okay, the time between the invention of writing and the end of the Gupta rule. So, the time between the invention of writing and the end of the Gupta rule belongs to the ancient period. Then, the medieval period stretches from the days of the Delhi Sultanate to the fall of the Mughal Empire. Understood? So, I will repeat again. The time between the invention of the writing and the end of Gupta rule belongs to the ancient. The medieval period stretches from the days of the Delhi Sultanate to the fall of the Mughal Empire. And modern period or modern history includes the time since the coming of the British in India. It's known as a modern history or modern period. This much students. So very easy chapter. Okay, if you read carefully, you will be very much interested and you will enjoy the study also. Okay, so students, please go through this chapter in your home and in my next video we will be discussing some new information regarding this different periods okay so thank you so much for today bye bye